This is a poem that I wrote, it's called Keep Fighting for Their Lives Until the Day That You Die. January 1st, 2018, the day that I make the best decision of my life by going vegan and changing my life forever. And while it is painful and heartbreaking, knowing that these animals endure constant suffering, however, we need to make sure that we don't give up on this endeavor. So how I went vegan may not be the most insane story you'll ever hear, I fear, but let me tell you how I got here. Within the final weeks of December 2017, I'm sitting and chilling during the holidays, remaining unfazed. Scrolling through the gram and I come across a post that made me say, damn, it immediately stopped me in my tracks and it made me feel attacked. A graphic image of a mother cow hung upside down after she was slaughtered while her screams remained unheard. With the caption on the image along the lines of, if you're not vegan, you're responsible for this. Piss in the midst of it all is what I felt for a bit. And for some reason, I just didn't get the gist of it. As the cognitive dissonance was setting in, it felt so strong, almost to the point that I just wanted to clench my fist. Saying to myself, why are these extremist vegan terrorist groups like Anonymous for the Voiceless trying to promote shoving their vegan agenda down my throat? Yes, believe it or not, AV was partially responsible for turning me vegan through their social media page and not through an in-person cube, surprising me. Anywho, curiosity ran through my mind. I knew I didn't want to be blind, so I scrolled through their IG with my cognitive dissonance infecting my mind like a banshee. And my old carnage self is thinking, why they attacking meat eaters so patronizingly? Time goes on and eventually I finally make the connection, but my old selfish animal abusing self says, eh might as well continue to remain selfish. If only it was easy to make the switch I wish. I now look back to this day in disgust, and every time I think about it, I feel like I wanna rip my hair to shreds. I knew that ain't no feds were gonna come after me for what I did like they came after Altimio Sanchez, Manny Cortez, and Juan Rodriguez Chavez, all three famous serial killers, by the way, who used similar justifications like my old self did to abuse their victims like the scums that they are. Anywho, the final day of December rolls around and it's almost midnight and I was wondering if I was ever going to make that switch. But like I said so many times to myself, if only it was easy for me to do it, I wish. But out of nowhere, my curiosity was itching, almost to the point where my, follow my body was twitching. Because OMG, my mind was still racing like a banshee and yet there still might be a chance I can go vegan tomorrow. Only 15 or so minutes left for midnight and looks like my cognitive dissonance was a shoot in my head this time as it ran out of ammo. I scroll through YouTube and I come across a powerful five minute video called Dairy is Scary. And I knew that at that moment watching that video was truly necessary. Two minutes in and I can't even finish it because the content in that vid was enough to make you truly disgusted. Only five minutes left till midnight and I knew that once that clock hits, I had to get rid of my selfishness and align my actions with my morals so I can be well adjusted. Boom! New Year's hits and I'm finally vegan and I feel morally superior and I'm no longer morally inferior. The reason why I am sharing this with all of you is because I want you to see how the carnist mind works when it is confronted with the truth. Trying everything it can to justify animal abuse to keep the mind soothed. So after my experience, let me tell you one of the most important aspects when it comes to going vegan. So now listen closely. Stop wasting time and thinking about it. Don't let your mind fall in the pit. Put yourself in the animal's position and think about them. Trust me, it will stop making you act so grossly. Documentaries like Earthlings and Dominion should help you do the trick, while videos like Dairy is Scary are also enough to help you with that real quick. Time flies and goes by, and by next thing you know, I'm wondering, hey, should I do some activism? But then I quickly remembered that there was no way in hell that I was gonna deal with that carnage sophism. Even though I realized just how serious and of injustice it truly is with these poor innocent animals being murdered in so many different ways. If we killed humans at the same rate as we kill animals for just quote unquote food, only the entire population would be wiped out in 17 days. And yet I knew so much about veganism such as the fact that it's about their animals and the animals only in being against their oppression. Health and environment are just secondary benefits and have nothing to do with veganism. That's and yet right. I agree. It ain't a bad idea to mention, but we gotta make sure that we stick to the ethics only so we can empower our fight for animal liberation, to make a strong impression with everlasting progression. So fast forward to 2021, and I'm still learning more and more about veganism and yet still not really considering activism because again, I hate having to deal with that carnage sophism. 
I already went through all that with my family and friends. Something that all of us vegans here can relate to in terms of how your loved ones have to resort to dogmatism to justify their abuses with excuses. So eventually I took a job, and to cut a long story short, animals were involved in the mix, but there's a big but. Their rights were not violated. Sitting here wondering if working that job was vegan, so I went to vegan subreddits. But I was worried that asking them may result in me getting humiliated. Ask, ask away is all I say. I'm wondering if it's vegan, but yet I still don't want to do this even though I knew that it was the only way to pay off my debts and to literally feed myself. My brain then switched and I knew that I was going to do this. I might as well speak up because this injustice ain't going to stop itself. So on to April 16, 2021. And I did activism for the first time with AV. Honoree is how I feel, knowing I'm with the same org that I called an extremist terrorist group back in the day, not knowing I would ever cross rays with them. But here I am. The more and more I kept doing activism for the animals, I knew there was no way I was gonna go back because this constant attack on the animals is easily comparable to slavery and colonization. Hold up, did I offend you? Well, I have you know that I'm a black African American Sudanese Arab coming from an indigenous background. So what's with your frustration? I'm always outreaching black harness and they seem to easily make the connection. When I make that comparison and I look at their faces and I see no agitation, all while having a strong abolitionist and anti-species message with no baby steps in the mix and not falling for those harness tricks. Making sure that all of that is enough to raise the bar because any vegan advocating for anything less than that is very, very bizarre. Yes. Continuing to be active for the animals at disruptive protests while screaming, there is no excuse for animal abuse. So to all the vegans who continue to stay silent on this issue and choosing not to speak up, let me give you some news. Ooh, ooh, let me give you some news, man. Let me give you some news. Let me give you some news because you're not going like this. Let me give you some news. Ooh. Try attending a vigil or just simply watching slaughterhouse footage and ask yourself if staying silent on this tragedy might actually mean that you're filled with apathy. And why is this something that you choose? Speaking of vigils and slaughterhouses footage, those are the two biggest reasons why I and you should never stop fighting against this injustice. Keep on fighting for the animals until they realize they see bliss. Because I ain't never stopping my fight for the animals. And if anything, from now on, my advocacy for the animals will continue to intensify because I'm not supporting and stopping until the day that I die and I hope you do the same as we're all in this together for the animals and the animals only so let's not lose the carnism oh so pronely and let's continue to fight for their cooperation until every cage is empty and even buried down to the ground let us fight for animal liberation never stop the fight for the animals and make sure that when you're fighting for them you're passionate and electrified so let us all keep fighting for the animals until the day that we die. Eating meat, dairy, eggs, and seafood is unnecessary violence, and if you are not vegan, you are directly paying for cruelty to animals. The dairy industry slaughters baby cows. The egg industry grinds up baby male chicks alive. Every single animal product involves slaughter. We don't need animal products. We are better off without them. See the description for evidence to back that claim, and watch the documentary Dominion free on YouTube or at watchdominion.com.